right, guys, it is Carl Brown for Guitar Lessons 365.com. Have a classic for you today. We're going to learn how to do the needle and the damage done by the great Neil Young. It's going to be a fun one. It's got some really cool, um, just really sounds great just instrumentally. Just a really cool track. So, uh, and just a fantastic lyrics as well. So, before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell, of course, so you'll know when I release a new video. And uh, check out My Guitar Academy, of course. You got the link in the description below. Below, It's really easy to check out. I actually have a free seven-day trial right now. Um, checking out all my guitar courses. Uh, so it's a free seven-day trial to all my guitar courses at the GL365 Academy. And these courses are everything from complete beginner courses to more advanced courses in technique and improvisation, ear training, uh, theory, guitar tone, many different styles, acoustic stuff, everything. So please go, go check it out. All right, so let's jump into the track. We are in standard tuning here. Lovely. All right, so we have this uh, kind of an instrumental intro that he uses a few times during the song as well. So it's pretty consistent. All right, and it sounds like this. So let's start with that. So we're going to start just kind of hold a D major chord here. And you're going to pick the open D string. Now when he's doing this picking, by the way, he's kind of ac accenting certain strings. So he's bringing up melody notes in there. But it doesn't mean that he's not kind of brushing against the other strings around it. The idea is to kind of give it a little bit of a fuller sound like he does. Where so he, when he's picking, even downstrokes are up. He's not only hitting like one string at a time. He's usually hitting a couple of strings, but one of the strings is really prominent. So you can hear that, but you can kind of hear that other string in there. So that's kind of the picking style here, and it's just really kind of kind of get that kind of feel going first. Kind of get that feel going is pretty good for the whole track. Alright, so let's grab that D chord now. So we're going to start, I'm going to say the open D, but you can always kind of hit that G as well. So, so that's what I mean. You can kind of hit a couple strings every time. So down stroke there, and then the up stroke is going to be on the high E string, and you're going to it's gonna the melody note to be that uh, second fret there on the high E. Then we go back and hit the D again with the down stroke, and then now lift up the finger on the high E to make it an open high E. Then back to the open D, and then with the down stroke, and then the uh, third fret there on the B. That will have the open stroke this time. You do that twice. So a very clean one string version. So that's the melody with the bass. Now keep in mind now, we want it to be a little bit wider pick strokes so you're getting more than single strings in there. So that's a good way of kind of looking at it so you don't have to overthink it. So you can still hear that melody, but you know, you're not just hitting those strings. All right, now we're gonna kind of do the same thing. So, so in the next chord we have that melody. So that's going to be now the bass note's going to um, change over to the third fret on the A string and the second fret there on the G. So you're still going to have that note there and still have the third fret there on the B. So you're just going to take that note over here and move it over. That was on the high E and move it over to the third fret of the, the uh, A string. All right now. So the little kind of the clean version of it would be the hitting that low bass note each time but on the down stroke but the up stroke will be the third fret on the on B string to the open high E again back to the third fret um, twice so when I say clean one string version of it 
it doesn't mean that it's sloppy playing. It actually sounds much better not to do it that to do it the way that Neil Young is doing it, where he's hitting multiple strings. I'm just trying to get you to bring up that melody though, like he does as well. So uh, it sounds like this. So you said that kind of, kind of consistent rhythm. Get locked into it. Now what we're going to do is we're finally going to lift up that note and have it be an open G. And so we're going to only leave the third fret there on the B for right now and reach over and grab that your index finger at the second fret on the uh, uh, A string. Then you do the exact same picking pattern. It's the same melody um, of the previous chord. And then down as well to the take that note on the uh, A string, move it down to the first fret for the next chord, and it's the same picking pattern again. Except instead of hitting that D last note twice, instead of hitting that twice, he has an open B string there. Now that's probably there so he can switch to the C chord. So all together we have this. All right, so it's very brief though, so I know that's like, whoa, what's that? But then, then we have this C chord, and on the C chord we have this. So some really cool moves there. So we're going to start with the C major chord, and it, you can once again you're hitting the bass note, but you're, you're kind of hearing the, the D string in there that held up the um, second fret there. And then the open high E string. So we have that move. We go like this. So what we're doing here is you're doing that down up, and then you hit the D string open hammer on to that second fret, then hit the open high E string again with an upstroke, and then hit the open G. So we have this. And then back to the upstroke, always on those high strings. Then you're gonna pick the G string again and hammer on the second fret of the G. Now at this point, he you can hear the C note drop out. Because he's getting ready for this next chord. So let's go ahead and get ready as well. So what he's doing here, after you hammer on the zero to two on the G, upstroke of course on the high, high strings, and then you're gonna go to the third fret with your pinky on the G string while moving your third finger over to the, um, your, your ring finger over to the third fret of the D. You're not gonna hear that note yet though. So now you're still holding this first fret, the rest of the C chord, the first fret there on the B and the open high E. So you're gonna be picking that third fret on the G, then upstrokes, Second fret on the G now on the melody, on the upstroke, open G, and now you're gonna click that third fret there on the D. So we have this. All right, so that's the most technical part of the track, and then we're gonna end this. So that starts with an E suspended fourth chord. Uh, he actually plays it with these fingers and then switches to the standard E, but it's more comfortable for me just kind of do it like that. So whatever way you want to do it. Um, so it's just a second fret on the G, uh, D, and the A there. 
So you're going to pick the note on the G string, then hit the open a B and high E together. So you're still kind of continuing that that rhythm, right? But we have the hitting the G string in the bass, then the D, and then the A. Kind of keep that rhythm feel, and then the open E. Across all three of the four of those strings. Now switch it to an E major chord. We're going to resolve it to an E major. And then, once again, you start the picking pattern the same. So you're picking the G string, then the open, the D, and the opens, the A. And here, though, you then move to the hidden open A string, and then uh, the high strings for the upstroke. So it kind of looks like this. So all together for this intro. Now once again, just make sure you're not hitting just single strings. <laughs> brush again a couple strings each time with both the, the consistent down and up strokes but just try to really bring out those melody notes on top all right so now we've got the verse So um, now that's kind of the same chorus we were using before. So that kind of second, kind of, that'll down up, kind of really strumming across the chord. Now we're starting with that same D, and then going to that second chord that we had before. Now when he's doing this, he's still kind of like picking. He's still kind of bringing out, he's like picking an upstroke on the B and the high E. So it's kind of like a, a kind of a rough approximation of the melody line he's playing earlier. So you can do it like that. So you can see I'm bringing out the notes on the B string and then the E. So it's the same chorus. Into that C without any kind of moving around on it. Then what he does is he switches that to an F. You can put the F in the bass here if you want, but from watching the videos, I don't really see him doing that too much. He just plays the C and then switches to the F, kind of the old folk guitar way, which is just you play that C major chord and then just move this note on the that's on the second fret of the D string, move it over to the second fret of the G and then add that third fret there on the D string. So that's like an F with a fifth in the bass. So. So it ends with that E sus four chord. And then it hits the E major once with a down stroke. And then it goes into that little lick. So we had this. So you hit the E once, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna play the open A, and then hammer on the second fret. So we have. So after that hammer on, I hit those open high strings again, and then then you're gonna pick the D string second fret, slide it up to the fourth fret. So we have this. When you slide up, hit those open strings again, then back down to the second fret there, open strings again. And then back. So all together for the verse. Same. 
really the only two sections of the song he keeps going through the verse playing just the same way each time and then they keep going back to that little instrumental version of it um, now at the very end of the track we have the outro which is kind of a, uh, a little bit different version of the instrumental intro and stuff so it sounds like this So that's just the melodies a little bit. It's built off the same chords. So this is at the very end of the track. Start off with the D. So the melody note is the high second fret first, then the open, then back to the second fret, and then back to the open. So it's a little bit different. And then we go to the next chord, and the melody note is first that note on the B string, and then the high E, and then again. So those two notes kind of back and forth twice. Really nice sounding. And then same thing of the of the third chord that we played before. So they kind of rotate. There. And then we get to the end, which he just when he gets to this chord right here where he extends his finger back to the first fret. And really what he does here is he picks the bass note and then he hits the high E and the B string together and does that twice. And he stops. So all together. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is a fantastic song. Short one, but it's got some beautiful guitar work, some beautiful melodies, great lyrics, so you can't go wrong with it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.